So following question reads that which reagent will give a different observation with compound P and Q. So there are two compounds given and uh, we need to figure out which of the following reagents would give a different observation with either one of them. Now the first thing I've done is uh, I've drawn the displayed formula of compound P. So we can figure out uh, what are the functional groups that are present. So there is an OH, an alcohol, a primary alcohol because it's connected to CH2. Uh, then there is CH and OH, so CH and an OH branch. And then there is CHO. CHO stands for an aldehyde, it's serial bond O and H. Now I've also drawn compound Q over here. Q is uh, CH2OH, so that's an alcohol, primary alcohol. Then there is CO in the middle, which is serial bond O. And then there is CH2OH again, so there is CH2 and an OH. Now the major difference that you can see already spot is that this one is an aldehyde whereas this one is a is a ketone. Both of them are alcohols. Uh, OH over here, OH over here, OH, OH. So they're both alcohols. But the major difference is this is a ketone, cetyl bond O in the middle and cetyl bond O at the end is an aldehyde. So one by one, we're going to go through all the options uh, starting with the first one, bromine. Uh, bromine has a reaction with alkanes under UV light, but that's not present. Uh, bromine aqueous also reacts with alkenes. Uh, it's a test for unsaturated saturated compounds. Uh, these are not alkenes. So bromine is not going to go undergo any reaction with either of the compounds. The next one is uh, hot acidified KMnO4. KMnO4 is an oxidizing agent and we already know that if you have an alcohol, whether it's a primary alcohol or a secondary alcohol or an aldehyde. This one is also an alcohol and alcohol. So both of them, alcohols, primary alcohols, they're going to get oxidized. So, so KMnO4, the problem with KMnO4 is it's going to react with both of them. It's going to oxidize both of them. And pretty much the same thing would, would happen with K2Cr207, which is also an oxidizing agent. So these primary alcohols, these aldehydes, secondary alcohols, 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 they're both going to get oxidized. So K4 is going to give uh, a color change of purple to colorless but with both of them. K2Cr207 is also going to give a color change of orange to green with both of them. It's they're going to react with both. So uh, B and D are not possible since they're reacting with both of them. Uh, so which one is going to give a different observation? So you're left with uh, silver nitrate in ammonia solution. So this option C a silver nitrate in ammonia solution is also known as Tollens reagent, which is Ag. Ag ions in ammonia solution that gives you AgNH3 two, twice plus that it forms a complex. That's known as Tollens reagent, and this reagent is used uh, to oxidize aldehydes, uh, but it's not going to oxidize ketones. So it's going to give a positive result with an aldehyde, but no positive result with a ketone. So option C is going to be your correct option for this question. Now, just to elaborate a little bit more, uh, you must know that primary alcohols get oxidized to aldehydes and they further get oxidized to carboxylic acid. So aldehydes uh, can be further oxidized and there are three separate regions that, reagents that are capable of doing that. One is K2Cr207 or KMnO4, both of them uh, equally, can equally be used, uh, Tollens reagent which we just discussed and Felling solution. So these are the uh, three compounds that can oxidize aldehydes to carboxylic acids. And you should also remember that secondary alcohols get oxidized to ketones uh, using K2Cr27 or KMnO4, but uh, there would be no further oxidation. There is going to be no further oxidation of ketones. So that is the major difference between aldehyde and ketones, that aldehydes are going to get oxidized, ketones are not going to get oxidized. And specifically, aldehyde's uh, tolerance reagent was very unique. So for this uh, question, Tollens reagent was the answer, which was silver nitrate in ammonia solution. So option C is the correct option for this question.